20. But first, let's talk about this scandal and what, uh, whether or not this is going to have legs. Well, look, when the New York Times goes back over 30 years to find somebody who had a bad airplane flight, that's, that's the essence here. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to stipulate Donald Trump in the past. This is not the Donald Trump that Clifton I know, but Donald Trump in the past may have been crude if you're willing to stipulate that Hillary is both corrupt and dangerous. Yeah. You know, it's interesting because we were talking about just how, how you know, coordinated this has all been earlier. Oh. You know, when, when she got pneumonia <clears throat> and she collapsed on the 9 11 uh, ceremony, the next day we're talking about the birther issue. Yeah. When Debbie Washman Schultz was pushed out on day one of the Democratic National Convention, suddenly we're talking about Russia. Now we've got, um, you know, Trump battling back from a scandal last week, and now all of a sudden the New York Times has this. Well, and, and, and think, think about the other things they could be covering. Apparently there are, there's a growing story that the FBI agents all believed that she should have been prosecuted. Mm -hmm. That, that Comey just sold them out for political reasons. That's based on uh, Fox News reporting, nowhere else, just of Fox course, News. Of course, yeah. Uh, apparently, and that's the whole point. I mean, right. So the New York Times, you know, she, she gives a secret speech in Brazil to bankers for $225,000, who they'd already paid her husband four hundred grand, And she says in her secret speech, her dream, which is a big word, her dream mm. is a Western Hemisphere with no borders. Now, mm. not only does that mean 600 million people could come in the U.S., but it means that MS-13, the murdering gang in El Salvador, the, the Mexican drug cartels, the Colombian car cocaine dealers could all come into a board. If, if Trump would just slow down and focus on a referendum, if you agree we should have an open border for 600 million people, vote for Hillary. If you think we should actually control our border, vote for me. If he could just stick to one or two things of that scale, yeah. he would blow past the New York Times and win the election. Can I just add, say something, though? Since literally the Republican convention, that is actually the phrase that we've heard over and over and over again. If Trump would just right. dot, dot, right. dot, ellipsis. And the problem <clears throat> is, Trump, if Trump hasn't just done what right. a, 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 and it's a traditional politician but he continually hurts himself and his own campaign yes and his supporters newt <laughs> speaker yes i mean look I, I i think this is a guy who is riding a wave of extraordinary hostility to washington mm -hmm. of people who think the city's corrupt which it is people who think they're being sold out which they are and so he has, he has a huge base. Clist and I have been out doing book signings the last couple of days. And the people who turn out are overwhelmingly anti-Clinton. And therefore, they're overwhelmingly for Trump. Mm. And if he, if he could understand that, again, he, I mean, he's a very gifted amateur who's come a very long way. But he allows his personality to get in the way of his election. And that, that's candidly a mistake. And, and when, you have the, when you have the mainstream media basically supporting you know sure. the narrative that that he's so bad and and she's the only one qualified i mean speaker wikileaks just put out another 80 pages worth of clinton speech excerpts of her praising wall street but we're not seeing a lot of backlash this morning we're not seeing any coverage of this and the wikileaks uh, emails oh. Starting with somebody going up to Elizabeth Warren and saying, now that you know that your nominee secretly for great amounts of money was praising Wall Street, how do you feel about her? I mean, Elizabeth Warren probably would be the leading person. Yeah. And, and most, uh, at least half of the Sanders voters, again, this, this is a simple matter of Trump focusing, driving the message, at least half of those voters. I think would suddenly be shaken in their support for Clinton because she's, a, she's such a total liar. And... In, in secret, there's a secret Hillary, and the secret Hillary who's coming out on these various leaks is, a, is a, a, frankly a fairly frightening person. In her own words, she said that. <clears throat> yeah. Now, something I want to talk about is, and we were just talking a little bit about this, when Donald Trump is pulled out loud over the telephone, he has a different result than when you do an online poll. When you talk to people in a focus group and they say things out loud versus what they write down in private, right. totally different result. Interesting. I'm seeing in online polls, Donald Trump is outperforming his telephone polls by about six points. What? Why wow. is but, but, that? But that's, look, the, the elite media, and it's not that the elite media is for Hillary. The elite media is Hillary. They are to, they're the same organism. They are the left. They are the establishment. They're doing, and of course, you lived through this with Brexit. That's right. They're doing everything they can to suppress the vote. And of course, luckily, we still have a secret ballot in this country. And so we are going to see Trump run well ahead of whatever the last polling number is. Plus, 
They just plain cheat. I mean, that last CNN poll, which oversampled Democrats, was taken before the debate. And if you watch the same data the next two days, his support comes back dramatically after the debate because the truth is, when people think about Senator, they go, oh, yeah, she is a liar. She stands for terrible policies. I'm opposed to virtually everything she wants to do. And, and you're just seeing this, by the way, in an article again this morning, uh, which didn't quite make page one of the New York Times. The Afghan army is crumbling. I mean, the, the Clinton-Obama strategy in the Middle East is disintegrating in front of our very eyes, despite the best effort of the news media to avoid it. Yeah. I think it's quite clear now that, that, that the argument for change has been made and that people understand that that's what's needed. But how, in the very few days left, do you think that he really can get to that big question of, of, of delivering the big change the country needs and getting rid of this failed system, this failed elite? Well, how does he do that it's when you've got day after day, can he cut the you've got these part stories part coming out deliberately media, from them? The social media. Part of the Wall Street Journal editorial today about the anti-Catholic Democrats. Which I, I actually read from last hour. Yeah, I mean, you, you, again, it goes back to WikiLeaks, which is you suddenly realize that some of the top people in the Clinton campaign are deeply, viscerally anti-Catholic and anti-Christian. Right. And then you think, gee, I wonder what kind of judges they're they anti recommend. anti-faith, really, anti -faith. It's regardless. Yes. And by the way, if those remarks had been made about uh, Muslims, Muslim. exactly. President That's... Obama would have a press conference right. about it, do, condemning what, it, what had been said if it was a Republican or, who made those remarks. Imagine, imagine comparable remarks about gays and lesbians. And also, That's just for, in, the, in the last hour, we had a clip from, from her where she is calling him dark and divisive. Well, and all this is coming out. She goes, she goes high when everyone else goes right. low. Right? No, it's no, just... No, no. <laughs> She's amazing. She has 800 people in, in, in Brooklyn consciously every morning propping her up and giving her the, the next talking points, the next clever language. But, but the challenge she faces is, in the end, and you're seeing all of this coming out in the WikiLeaks, in the end, she is a liar. In the end, she is corrupt. In the end, her policies are a nightmare. Uh, and she is on almost every case